Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Season 2 on Sing China. Today I am in Kashgar, Old City. It's also the center of Uyghur culture. Look at this beautiful city. And uh, in this episode, I want to go to a bazaar. That's what I'm going. There are bazaar day almost on every day of the week, yet they are in different villages. And today I am going to one of the village and uh, I need to go to the bus station and then take a minivan. I'm now changing into a small minivan. Horse cart is also a very common way means of transport in this town. For two years you can get a ride. <laughs> they just got us for that horse cart. This is our Tixiang look. It's a small village. And I've seen people carrying carrying shit on the tracks. So I guess bazaar is in that direction. And there are so many mulberry trees. They are just street trees. There is no need to buy mulberry in Xinjiang. Look. Mm. And uh, one character of the sheep in Xinjiang is that they have a big butt. This part, this part, it's full of fat. And this is someone's house. And they always have a grape vine in a yard because in summer it has a lot of shade. Look. Yeah, this is a traditional Xinjiang dwelling. I found that uh, uh, Xinjiang vernacular architecture is extremely decorative. There are always a lot of those decorations, carvings, or beautiful color. So you can of course discuss the price and bargain. This seemed to be the entrance of the bazaar, but uh, I guess I am a bit too early. They are still setting up their stands. Wow, it's quite a huge place. Look, so starting from there and there, it's all different uh, sellers. Oh, culture. So this barbecue, this grill is a bit different. They use a uh, special wood to give it um, a special fragrance. Look at that. <laughs> After in Bazaar, there are different sections. So at the entrance, there are many, many small restaurants selling kana, roasted, uh, roasted bun and naan, bread, noodles, 
and that section is the big New Yang Bazaar that trades ship mainly. Oh. <laughs> are so big that it's hard to control them and I want my breakfast yeah you want to go lamia you go lamia you go lamia you go lamia so let's just watch uh, his show <laughs> Yes, 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 Hey, <laughs> 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 Got my lamian, but there are many other good foods. So if you don't like noodles, you can also get hajar with uh, the same sauce, salt and hajar steamed buns. That what he's eating right now, and you can also get drafa, a very famous uh, Xinjiang dish. So it's uh, lamb with. Maybe it is carrot or plums, I am not so sure. With rice, one of my favorite dish here. Oh, shit! Come on! Yes, yes, yes! Yeah! In my opinion, you can hardly be disappointed by Xinjiang Lamia, the stretched noodle. There is beef, there is pepper and cabbage inside and everything is made on the spot. It's very fresh. So he was just peeling the pepper and that's cabbage skinny everything and then he's making noodles and then boiling it mm. <laughs> He is making uh, grill, and this is perhaps the biggest, biggest lamb soup I've ever seen. There is onions, potato. Another restaurant is also lamb soup, but there is some radish inside, and the butcher is just standing next to it. And this is the famous cobalt. 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 <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And in this room, they are quite busy making the. And in this stand, he's blowing air into the oven, and that's called hot. It's so hot here. This is another shop making car balls. Uh, they are chopping meat, and here in the backstage, he is chopping onions. <laughs> <laughs> Other people are making those and then they will bring it out to the front to those who are wrapping kabob. And this is now the most important food in Xinjiang. That is my one of my favorite food in Xinjiang. I've just got it. This fresh yogurt from the farm, from that lady, from the market. Mm. There is a lot of big chunks in it. It's extremely sour, so some people prefer to have this with honey, but I like this sourness. It's so natural and very healthy. Now it's 12, it's the time when most people arrive, so I'd say uh, small. More tricycles carrying loads of sheep. Now I am officially at the entrance of the Niu Yang Baja, the sheep and cows market. I've only seen sheep so far. You've heard that meh meh all the time. And I hope you can still hear me talking. I'm going to give you a tour in this bazaar. <laughs> There are so many people here that it's hard to make your way through. I am now more or less in the middle of this uh, New Yang Baja. So it's about uh, 200 meters that way and 200 meters that way. <laughs> For some herd men, they even shave the goat or the sheep before selling it. So they are using a, a scissor and slowly cut it up. So I'm just wondering if they, they use the wool. It seems that wool is not very um, valuable here and that's why they are shaving it. Wow, it's quite dusty. <laughs> Those sheep are already shaved. Uh, look at their butt. And I asked them why they do that. They said because now it's getting really hot. So they are helping them to take off some of their wool coat. 
Ik moet ook geen mooi zijn, maar... Ik heb een naam. There are more food on the market. This is a coat noodle and salad stand. Cucumbers are shredded and piled up. And next to it are some meat. Ah, he is telling me that I should try this is a uh, um like a buffalo head this piece big piece and this is buffalo feet It's a bit like steamed buns. This is called yu roasted uh, fish. Wow. wow, so hot. This oven is on fire. I hope I don't drop my camera into it. So 
so finally that part uh, the restaurant zone is behind me now I'm moving forward I guess this is a spice bazaar there are so many different kinds of spices chili pepper sesame sichuan pepper pumpkin seeds sanja uh, chen pi well I don't know everything so this is the tea that you often see in Qingjiang. If you go to a restaurant, yeah, they're likely to serve with a tea like that. So it's, I think it's fermented. Maybe it's black tea with some rose flowers, jasmine, and some other flowers, goat berry, etc. that I am trying it's a plum drink there is ice there is this plum and there is uh, some syrup I think it's syrup it's not honey mm. slightly sweet slightly sour it's very refreshing because now it's getting hot and this is a melon section we are loading watermelons it seems that people in this bazaar are very familiar with each other so I often see them shaking hands and greet each other this is honey melon He's offer, he offered me a piece of melon to try but Sanada told me there are sweeter melons ahead Mmm Hanjie yeah, Hanjie yeah. Hami melon um, The English word for Hami Gua is a Hami melon You can try it and you don't have to feel the pressure to buy it <laughs> there is a saying, there is no melon in Xinjiang that is not sweet. But there is one melon that is particularly sweet. This is Lao Han melon. It is the sweetest melon I have ever tried. Lao Han means old man. It came from the fact that the flesh is so soft that even the old man without teeth can eat it. looks different. They just bought one melon, it cost 28 yen, and they are sitting down and then sharing this melon together. So, in general, one kilo of watermelon is 3 yuan, and that one is more than 10 yuan. So it's way more precious and way more expensive. There is also a cap section that sells stopa, a traditional cap that is square or round, with finely embroidered and quilted surface. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Now I have entered the nuts section. There are a lot of dried nuts, but uh, although Xinjiang produces a lot of nuts, it has to be noted that not all of them are, are produced in Xinjiang, and actually many nuts are imported from other countries. So you can also see that most things are marked in two languages, Mandarin Chinese and a Uyghur language. Uyghur language use um, Arabic alphabet. Ah. <laughs> And that's how vegetable is sold in Xinjiang in big bag, by kilo. Do you buy at least two kilo of that? Oh, that is carrot. Such a big carrot. So that you have to cut now there are more and more people in the bazaar and after some food and drink now I am so full now I have a full stomach and don't have space for any other food so my plan is to go back to Kashgar uh, take a rest and explore the city